Right, so why should you not be afraid to experiment? What's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez back with another video and today I'm gonna to be talking about why you should be experimenting a lot more rather than just thinking about these ideas and just leaving them on the table. I'm outside of my place right now. I just finished crushing some breakfast. Whipping up some protein pancakes. I already blended all of it in here. Got the eggs ready. We even are writing down our weights right here. I was supposed to do mine on the 9th, but Jimmy ended up doing his first. Then just writing down some updates on different dates to see if we're actually losing weight, if we're actually doing what we're supposed to do right, because we are sticking to a diet, a meal plan. So we wanna make sure it's actually working because it is not easy. My goal is to get to around 200 pounds flat. So I wanna take a second to kind of record this video out here for you guys, it's an incredible day here in California. I want to share this quick story with you guys. So for me, a few months back when I was obviously still doing e-commerce, uh, I was saying around the middle time, uh, summertime actually, I think it was about five months ago, I actually saw people getting into Bitcoin. I had just learned about it. I didn't know that Bitcoin was such a big thing. And this is just a quick example that I wanted to kind of show you guys of for me as to why I regret not experimenting soon enough and why not executing on, you know, different ideas that I had in mind and I, where I saw possibilities of, you know, having success and results with. You know, I learned about Bitcoin. Uh, I started looking into it, I saw some people doing some videos on it, YouTube videos, and I started seeing that it's like a thing, right? And I started learning more about it, but I never really invested in it, right? I just saw it, I never really paid too much mind to it. And around this time, it was actually when it was still super cheap. It was actually only around like two to 3,000 at the time, right? And obviously I was doing e-commerce, I was having great results with that, and I was making good money, and I had more than $2,000 able to invest in Bitcoin. Uh, I just never really took the time to actually do it. So I'm only thinking about doing e-commerce and again there's nothing wrong with sticking to one thing and really becoming good at it that's what i was actually doing with e-commerce i was you know really doing it i was trying to perfect it and i was really crushing it so i really wouldn't want to put any focus on anywhere else i wanted to really you know keep the process going keep that store up to date find new products and i really wanted to really you know see how how high i can really scale that store that i was working with so a few months went by one thing led to another and i realized that Bitcoin was now at about eight grand, right? $8,000 literally within two months or so. It was absolutely insane. I literally was just sitting at home with the money in my bank account, not doing anything with it. And if I would have simply took an action, I could have literally doubled or even tripled my money that I was, had just had sitting in my bank account simply by just investing, holding on to Bitcoin and like selling it later on if I wanted to. And for me, after that happened, honestly, like it bothered me so much that I started making it as a part of my routine and as part of my life where I no longer try to procrastinate on anything I want to experiment with. Whenever I see you think about a new idea or I see a new opportunity, I immediately try to figure out how I can test it and find out if I can make it work or get results with it. And the reason why I do that now is because again, I missed out on that huge opportunity, but that isn't the only thing, right? If you haven't already, Make sure you subscribe, join the VFAM. Of course, if you guys wanna see a lot more videos just like this one, make sure you drop a like. Also, drop a comment below. Let me know what things you guys are planning on experimenting with or that you have been procrastinating on experimenting on and why. Why do you think you know you haven't already tested it or experimented with i'm always curious to see what other people are planning on experimenting with what other experiments you guys have in place and a whole lot more because i know for a fact the name of the game is to continuously test things over and over i was reading this book it's called the one click moment this book it actually was talking about youtube right so youtube you know these guys they were in a situation where they were looking for videos a specific video to watch and they couldn't find it because obviously there was nowhere to watch videos at the time and then this other person i think he wanted to upload a video don't quote me on that but i think he wanted to upload a video you know to kind of share some things with other people that's what i think it was now don't quote me on that exactly but i know for a fact so youtube started as an online dating site called tune in uh, hook up people would post videos of themselves on the site and prospective dates would vote on them The idea didn't work, but it didn't work out But it laid the technical foundation for another more potent idea after the two of the founders Chad Hurley and Steve Chan were unable to email a video of a dinner party They'd attended and after the third founder Jod Karim could not find a video of Janet Jackson's Super Bowl wardrobe malfunction the three made a monetary connection What if there was a site where you could upload videos and anyone could see them and then YouTube launched on February 14, 2005, 
and it took off like a three-stage rocket and then Google bought it 18 months later for 1.65 billion dollars it literally all started on a simple experiment because for them they didn't you know YouTube wasn't supposed to be that it was supposed to be a dating site so that comes to show like you, you never know what could take off or what could turn into something else right so experimenting is huge and the one mistake that I see a lot of people they have an idea and or they have a product but they want to finalize and have the idea be super perfect and super put together before they launch it and that's a huge mistake because one it takes up a lot of your time to do that and two nobody ever gets anything right the first time right when Amazon launched, a lot of you guys know Amazon. Amazon is the biggest e-commerce company in the world. They started as a bookstore. That's a whole nother ball game. That's actually one of my favorite stories uh, because Jeff Bezos started a company simply as a bookstore. And now, obviously, look at what Amazon is now. Again, they started with enough to kind of get the idea out there. So, you know, going back to the Bitcoin story, I kind of wish I would have at least experimented a little bit and at least invested some money into Bitcoin at the time when I saw it. And honestly, like, it still haunts me now. One idea can lead to another. You know, just like, again, Amazon. Amazon started as a bookstore and now they sell everything. YouTube started off as an online dating site. Now they just, obviously it's one of the biggest companies in the world when it comes to videos and a whole lot more. So, you know, for me, some of you guys already follow me, you already know about my story, but for me, e-commerce started off as just an, uh, an experiment. I didn't know anything about running an online business. I didn't know anything about making money online, any of that. I literally just saw these kids making money online, selling these little fidget spinners, which you guys probably know about. You know, one thing led to another, and obviously, we were able to then generate, have one of our biggest months, our second month into drop shipping, where we did over $222,000 in sales. So that just comes to show the power of an experiment, right? You never know what can happen. So that's pretty much everything I have for you guys today. I hope you guys get value from this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Of course, leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of experiments you guys are planning on running. If you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.